Back in the 1950, uh, just after the Second World War, uh, you had all the prospectors in Uranium City running around looking for uranium. And uh, they came across a uh, rock here at Hoytus Lake that contained a black, shiny mineral called alanite that they thought was pitchblende, which is one of the main uh, uranium minerals. It turned out that it wasn't pitchblende, no uranium. Instead, they discovered that it contained what we call rare earth elements. Oh, now, where did it get its name? Where did rare earth come from? Rare earth is a misnomer that was assigned to uh, this group of elements, and it's the lanthanide group of elements back in, in the 1800s when they first discovered them. The uh, scientists that discovered them thought they were rare. Subsequently, they found out that individually they're not all that rare, but what is rare is to find them concentrated in quantities enough to be economic. So we still stick with that term, rare earths. So have you found it in uh, quantities that are economic up here? We certainly think so. Uh, there are no currently operating rare earth mines in North America. 97% uh, of these rare earth elements come from China. And uh, so we hope to become uh, the first uh, operating rare earth mine in North America. Uh, we want to become the main source of rare earth elements outside of China. Back in the 50s, there was no demand for this. That's right. Yeah, the rare earth elements were just a scientific curiosity. And it was only until fairly recently that uh, uh, uses became uh, available for them. Eventually, uh, all of the high-tech applications, rechargeable batteries, permanent magnet motors, electric motors, um, things used in fuel cells. That's the big demand right now. Big demand, hybrid vehicles. We, we want people to understand these rare earth elements think hybrid vehicle. In particular, if you look at groups like Toyota, that by 2010 want 25% of their vehicles to be hybrids, we are already identifying uh, some of the clientele that we want to be selling to. And we are already, for instance, and, and we can't give the name of them, but we're already, for instance, producing hydrogen storage materials for one of the big three automakers out of our facility in, in Troy, Michigan. So how many pounds of rare earth would there be in one hybrid car? 20 kilograms in a Toyota Prius, so 40 pounds of rare earth element in each individual wow. hybrid. And a lot of it then should come right out of here. And this is Boomtown right now, so show us what it looks like. It's uh, We'll take uh, take you for a walk up yeah. Main Street. Main Street. Main Street, Hoytus Lake. Well, it just I keep thinking about that, uh, the Yukon setting, and, and this is just like a gold discovery in a way, isn't it? Well, it is, and... Uh, the way we feel ourselves, it, it gives us that gold rush feeling to be at this stage. The United States is a billion dollar industry as far as the rare earth elements go and our initial economic base case is to start at 10% which is nominally a hundred million dollar venture and uh, that's what we hope this turns into. So this is, uh, <laughs> this could be a hundred million dollar a year and this would be the main street right here. This would be Main Street Hoytus Lake and uh, it, it it doesn't look like a hundred million dollar venture right now, but this is just the beginning. But well, this is what it's all it. about in, in layman's terms. This is the future of Northern Saskatchewan, could be the future of Northern Saskatchewan in rare earth. And this is sort of like uh, gold. It is uh, very much future like gold, gold. future gold. Yeah. We, we think it's every bit as valuable as gold. Yeah.